Hi, my name is Johan Christian Jensen, and today I will present my paper on numerical simulation of cavitation on a reversible pump turbine. The agenda for today will uh, consist of introduction, cavitation, the CFD setup, including the geometry, mesh, and numerical setups, uh, the results, the conclusion, and uh, the further work. The demand and the supply of the power does not always correlate. Renewable energy sources like solar power and wind turbines is becoming increasingly popular in the recent years. Th these are increasing the instabilities of the power grid and it is important to stabilize the modern power grid. There are several ways of doing this, but uh, tested ways of doing this, this in a large scale is using a pumped storage hydropower plants. These use a pump in order to pump the water from a lower reservoir to a higher reservoir, storing the energy as potential energy and can therefore be used later using a turbine in order to get the power back out into the power grid. Another way of doing this is using a re reversible pump turbines that can act as both a turbine in one direction of rotation and a pump in the other way of rotation. The objective of this paper is to uh, set up and test numerical simulation of cavitation on a reversible pump turbine's impeller in pump mode. It is important to be able to uh, predict the cavitational behavior on a reversible pump turbine in order to be able to develop the best reversible pump turbines. So, what is cavitation? Cavitation is a phase shifting phenomenon where the pressure of the water falls below its vapor pressure. In a reversible pump turbine in pump mode, this is most likely to happen at the inlet of the impeller. This is the region where the pressure of the water usually is the lowest. Um, if these zones are large enough, then uh, the cavity in the water will be sufficiently large that it will reduce the efficiency of the reversible pump turbine. When the cavitated bubbles reaches is transported through the impeller and reaches a region with higher pressure, then the vapor phase will implode and create a large pressure increase near a surface. This could re result in erosion pitting and uh, eventually mechanical failure. These are the main reasons that um, cavitation is uh, very bad for a reversible pump turbine. It is important to be able to uh, um, be able to predict its characteristics in order to be able to design the reversible pump turbine correctly. So a uh, net positive suction head is uh, a commonly used uh, indication of uh, under which conditions of a cavitation a machine operates. The available net uh, positive suction head is defined as the absolute inlet pressure minus the vaporization pressure of the water divided by the density and the gravitational acceleration. The Thuma commutation number is uh, a dimension dimensional term indicating about the same as the net positive suction head and it is defined as the available net positive suction head divided by the head of the turbine. A geometry used uh, in my paper was kindly provided by Rainpower. This was a confidential agreement between Rainpower and myself and uh, therefore I will not be able to provide uh, absolute numbers but they will be normalized in order to uh, uh, confi with a confidential agreement. The only part that was similar was on the impeller itself due to uh, time uh, constrictions and computing powers available. When I, when I designed the mesh of the impeller, the main goal was to have a Y plus value of about 30. Um, this provided about 1.1 million cells for a single passage, which was the only one that was simulated. The mesh statistics was the following, but uh, the main thing that to note is that everything is uh, 
is between the recommended uh, advice from ANSYS themselves. For example, the minimum phase angle recommended is 10 degrees and mine is 3 times higher. The maximum phase degrees is 170 degrees, which again is well within. Um, and the ma maximum aspect ratio from ANSYS is 100 and my highest is 992. The numerical setup I used was considering of a high resolution advection scheme. Um, <clears throat> an upwind term turbine numerics. Standard K epsilon model in order to, to not have uh, too fine of a mesh. Steady state simulations in order to um, to reduce the simulation times and single rotating frame of reference because I didn't use uh, any uh, everything I looked into was uh, the impeller and it was rotating so I didn't have to uh, have any kind of in interactions between rotating and stationary rotational period periodicity was used in order to only simulate a single passage of the reversible pump turbine and the boundary conditions was uh, uh, in the inlet the total pressure this was in order to be able to accurately mm, determine uh, the inlet pressure in order to be able to um, find figure out if cavitation is occurring or not um, and mass out mass flow outlet the walls it was a regular no slip smooth wall condition due to the confidentiality agreement between rain power and myself all results has been normalized. At the top right here you can see the normalized uh, hydraulic efficiency, which is the hydraulic efficiency divided by the hydraulic efficiency um, at, for the best efficiency at the current run. This means that uh, this is uh, for the CFD results, this is divided by the best efficiency for the run for the current CFD run. And uh, for the experimental data, this is divided by the best efficiency for the run at the experimental data. This is, was uh, due to the about 7% higher CFD efficiency than experiments. And uh, to be better able to uh, compare the two results. Uh, the Thuma cavitation number has, always, has also been normalized uh, according to... Uh, the, the first defined value of the um, experimental data. So uh, these are the main results. In uh, the dotted line you can see the CFD results and uh, the even lines is experiments that I'm comparing many results with. Um, as you can tell the breakpoint is happening at about the same um, sigma values, which is great. Um, in addition to this, um, we can see that they correlate uh, quite well uh, down to about um, just about 1% drop in efficiency. The course of the course, uh, the reason this uh, drop in efficiency is like I said earlier, uh, the cavitation that is uh, becoming more and more apparent in uh, the reversible pump turbine. The overall result is looking quite promising despite of the about 7% higher efficiency in the simulations uh, compared to the experiments. This might be uh, due to the um, lack of losses due to the simplified CFD geometry that does not include uh, the spiral casing, the stay vents, the guide vanes, or the draft tube. The mesh statistics are good according to the general advice from ANSYS. But uh, despite of this, a mesh impedance st study should be performed in order to validate the performance of the mesh used during the simulations. The break in efficiency seen from the last slide happens at about the same sigma value for both CFD simulations and the experimental data. This means that the CFD simulation is verified, thus the numerical setup is considered to be good for this point of operation. The simulation is therefore considered to be verified 
and is a good starting point in order to increase the complexity of the simulation in the future. Future work should include a mesh impedance study in order to be able to validate the mesh that has been used during the simulations. In addition to this, it uh, will be necessary to expand the computational domain in order to check if pre-rotation at other operating points will affect the cavitational properties of the reversible pump turbine. It will also be necessary in order to check if the higher efficiency found in the results um, is due to these uh, simplifications and reductions of the computational domain. Simulation with pre-rotation should also be simulated uh, outside of its normal best efficiency point of operation for the reversible pump turbine. This will conclude my presentation of my paper, Numerical Simulation of Cavitation on Reversible Pump Turbine. Thank you so much for your time.